this my friend is the Kuat NV Base 2.0 it's a two bike rack but you could put a uh, an add-on you want to use a if you need to use a four bike uh, bike rack so bought this around 750 plus tax and then the add-on I think ranges up to 399 to 420 I think but that comes later when I need more space first thing first before you could install a bike rack you need a hitch uh, 273 uh, that's with uh, parts and labor uh, that's not bad uh, it looks solid too <clears throat> this is the two inch hitch Let's see what we got here this is the one I'm talking about you could do an add-on in the future so two bikes for now and then later on put four <clears throat> registration Call us for repair, replacement, or refund. Hopefully not. Screws and Allen rain. The one that we need. A lock. So that uh, a perpetrator cannot just remove your bike rack another small small screw this is the cover uh, straps make a mess here lay this down to avoid scratches on my new bike rack first thing first insert the rear end cap best to install these upside down now you need to align the trays with the holes on the corner so they actually labeled it with uh, uh, letters so that you won't get confused I'm talking about letter A and then letter A. Okay? Ultimately, it will come set up as like this. But the manual doesn't tell you that, but it's actually better if you move this arm all the way to the other side and use it as a base. All right, guys, you can see it. But you're gonna use this as a base before you install this. Okay. this one you need a flies to 
control the other bolt on the other side otherwise it wouldn't screw in okay same thing you would do on the other side you put this this one this side okay I want you guys to see where I put the lock on. Try to tighten this screw. I don't know if you guys could see that. On the other side, don't make a mistake of putting this on this side. You see how it has like a octagon or I don't know what kind of shape that is. That is where this screw goes, okay? Because on the other side, it goes the other way. See how it crisscross? So now this screw, instead of going this side, it's gonna go on this side. Okay, and then this, is your lock. You use the same Allen rain that came with it. Tighten this. All right. I'm using some of the boxes that came with it as a stand in my toolbox. Now we're going to do the same thing again. C for C. And D for D. Should slip like right through it right there. Okay. Let's put the other one. This side. This goes on the other side, remember? Almost made that mistake. So it's a crisscross. Okay. Put the lock. This side. The other lock. It's a nut bolt, not really a lock, but it will lock it, so. So I call it a lock. Okay. Now I need the Allen ring I've been using. Tighten it. 
I'm just tightening both sides. For these types of uh, equipment, you don't really need a torque. You just uh, tighten it the best way you think it's safe. Let me tighten the rest of them. Swing this around. Oh, it's really heavy. Oh god. This is the pivot left. This pivot uh, lever goes to. I don't know if you guys could see that over here. Right, this is the one that we're gonna use to. Uh, lock this pivot lever okay it's gonna go like this here okay pretty heavy Now, we're going to use the lock You need the key to unlock it, but you don't need to lock, you don't need a key to just to lock it. I don't know if you guys noticed earlier, but at the end of this, it has like a little tiny silver ball. That's actually, when you turn this, it'll tighten, it'll push that silver ball up and it's going to secure this and lock it to the uh, hitch. I think this is where this big Allen rain comes in. Yes. Okay. Secure it because most of the bikes are heavy. Not all of them are hardened. And there it is. It looks secure. Uh, all bolts are tightened. Uh, I made sure that I double checked it. So in order for you to lift it up like this. See how it clicks. And then when you want to use it, put your foot here. Kick. And, there. and oh, by the way, uh, make sure the quad uh, sign it's further so it's gonna be on this side here further from the vehicle I'll show you okay so that when you lift up the uh, um, the uh, bike or the, the bike rack it'll say kuat on that side on the upper left corner all right that's it guys uh we were able to do it um it looks solid it's it's definitely heavy so if i were you guys uh ask for a someone to hold it but um i was able to improvise using some of the stuff i have here just to uh, use it as a stand but it looks nice and can't wait to use it. Let's test it. Now make sure 
it's on this side. Okay. Press. I know don't forget to lock it. The lock should be right there. Okay. And then don't forget to put the strap. Critical. You don't want your expensive bike to. Oh, you can. Right here. There you go. It was on the wrong side. Okay. Tug on it. We should secure. There it is. Whew. Need water. Empty. <laughs> 